Robert De Niro went off about GOP frontrunner Donald Trump and the potential implications of his 2024 bid on today's episode of The View, but the actor's tirade was full of so many cuss words that viewers barely got to hear a peep at times. I don't understand why people are not taking him seriously, because you read about it historically in other countries that they didn't take the people seriously. I think of Hitler, and, Mussolini, De Niro said. If he gets elected, it's going to change this country. For everybody, the box office star warned while chatting with the co-hosts, RadarOnline.com has learned. And they might think it's going to make their life better. Or they just want to, excuse my French, they just want to F, with the rest of the country. At that point, his audio was cut as the control booth censored all words that would get flagged. Joy Behar appeared surprised by him, flashing a smile as the camera adjusted to a wide shot. He's done everything. What more do you need? It's almost like he wants to do the worst that he could possibly do to show this country, De Niro continued before his remarks were censored. The actor could be seen stating that Trump's slogan should be F, America despite that audio getting bleeped as well. He projects what he's saying. It's what he wants, what he envisions the world to be, which is chaos and craziness, total craziness, De Niro said, claiming Trump is about anger and hate. During the interview, De Niro also spoke about his youngest child whom he welcomed in the spring of 2023 with his girlfriend Tiffany Chen, and his new movie, Ezra. The Meet the Fockers star has been honest about his long-standing disdain toward Trump over the years, previously taking aim at the politician while accepting the Gotham historical icon and creator tribute award for the Martin Scorsese movie Killers of the Flower Moon, which garnered a response from the former president. Robert De Niro, whose acting talents have greatly diminished, with his reputation now shot, must even use a teleprompter for his foul and disgusting language, so disrespectful to our country, Trump fired back, claiming the actor had become a total loser. He has become unwatchable both in movies, and with the fools that destroyed the Academy Awards, bringing them from one of the top shows in the country to a low-rated afterthought. De Niro should focus on his life, which is a mess, rather than the lives of others.